tables have turned. That was an incredible catch. It seems that uh, hammers are not all equal, at least in destruction. No, no, it was... Uh... Was that delivered, that scene? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it wasn't on the page either. It, 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 we were just on set one day and the second unit director who was shooting that action sequence was... Uh, <laughs> she said, oh, what if we you know, put a hammer in the scene and have it over here? And, and we were all kind of rolled our eyes and thought, ah, it's that we be ridiculous. And then we did it a few times and mm -hmm. it made us laugh. And we thought, oh, let's put it in the movie. And, and I sort of nod to the, to the Marvel fans. What weapons do you like uh, better? <clears throat> Those fancy, shiny super guns or, or the hammer? I mean, the hammer, you know, is, 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 is probably more impressive in a lot of ways. And, but um, it was nice just to, for something different, you know, to, to use these gadgets and these weapons. And in particular, the car where all these weapons come from, you know, the petrol tank and, mm -hmm. and the exhaust pipe and the side view mirrors or sort of, you know, the rocket launchers and so on. It was, it was cool. And then the neuralizer would come in pretty handy too. So. Mm, I said it looked more fun. Yeah. More, more varieties to deal with. Nearly in all the movies you play now, they are the big... Blockbusters, right? The money makers, the studio <laughs> stuff. Is that deliberate on your part? It's, it's just sort of what's come my way, you know. Uh, and um, just prior to this, um, I did Bad Times at El Royale, which was mm. uh, you know a smaller drama and, and thriller, um, and that was fantastic. It was kind of like a stage play. There was so much dialogue and interwoven sort of you know, nuance kind of characters and manipulating characters and good and bad and questions and bigger conversations and um, then I love that you know and that fed one part of my soul and then mm. I pick up a script like this and I go oh this looks like a hell of a time it looks like a fun ride and why not you know it, it's also harder and harder to get an audience to a cinema and mm, I think yeah. um, films like this is, is sort of what there is a thirst and hunger for at this point and whether you know, it'll, that'll change, go in a different direction, and I'll try and <laughs> change well, with it. Financially, you're right. It makes more sense because it, it, it is, it's safer. Yeah. Or more I, security, but is it as fulfilling as doing the uh, acting, as you say, theater acting, drama acting? It's, it's it different. It's different, yeah. It, it's like going to work every day and, and laughing and having fun and improvising and doing all sorts of crazy action and flying around the world. And we shot, you know, from London to Morocco and Italy and Paris is like... It's, it's, fantastic you know that was big appeal to me um and then doing something smaller and you know to be acting you know just performance no special effects or anything um as i said is is speaks to a different part of the artistic part of me you know and um i, I don't know that there's one i prefer of the other it's the combination that i prefer if i just did one of them all the time i'd probably get pretty bored but you know, going back and forth, I think, is what keeps me invested in a greater way. And, and I learn more from doing the two. And I've had many people who have come from independent world and, and onto a sort of a film like this and have said, oh, wow, I had no idea. You know, I have a greater appreciation for these films now because you still got to put in the, sa the same amount of work and you've still got to work, you know, just as hard to make these stories and moments truthful and so on. And so um, I think the assumption is that one is easier than the other or more artistic or whatever, but for me, I still put the same commitment into all of it, so, yeah. And you and I had a fight recently. Did I win? No, I won, easily. Doesn't sound right. Well, uh, that's true. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Hey, guys, check it out! Kevin, come inside! I was born to be a Ghostbuster, all right? In many of the characters you play, although they, act, they are action heroes, they're doing mm. tough things, but you always color them with humor. Yeah. Is that on the <laughs> script or you bring it in yourself? A bit of both, I think. I, 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 initially, I don't think there was quite the, the, as much sort of humor when I first read it and I did want to sort of ramp that up. I just think it's more enjoyable. I just think it's also humor is really accessible and... Uh, especially in a larger scale blockbuster kind of setting. And, and I, I learned that from Robert Downey Jr., you know, watching him, mm. you know, in the first Iron Man, it just helps ground it, you know, no matter how big and sort of, you know, otherworldly it's all becoming, it, mm. it instantly kind of connects you with an audience, you know, I think it's disarming. And, um, 
and I don't know, I, I like sort of ticking a few boxes within the genre rather than sort of sticking to one, you know, one version. Ah! Catching up on my daily meditation. Time for lunch, I think. You hungry? It's 9.30. Perfect. Tuesday's taco day. But do you feel that it, it is more uh, attractive to the audience? Because, I mean, the, the themes of these stories are all the same. Yeah. Everything it hinges on your performance and making it more fun. Yeah. Is that, do you feel that? I think so, yeah. I think, I, think I'm, I became really aware of when people responded to Thor in different ways and different versions of that character. The comedic side of him as that evolved was was definitely a, a, a bigger win. And it also kind of just, for my own enjoyment, you know, if I'm sort of in a box and it becomes a bit predictable and feels safe and I know this is how the hero acts, it just is kind of boring. And then I think mm. if it's boring for me, it's probably boring for an audience. So um, I do think people enjoy, you know, the, the, the enjoy it a little bit more and, and yeah. Chris, thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, buddy. That's fun. <laughs> thank you.